What's up everyone, mejp 2 here, and in today's video we have level 50 Honchkrow in the Open Master League. Now Honchkrow is extremely glassy, and it also is a dark type, which does mean that it is going to be pretty good into Mewtwo. Now Mewtwo, I believe it like almost gets one shot by a dark pulse, which is very nice, so it's just going to basically be Mewtwo hunting, and I guess kind of Solgaleo as well. Although Solgaleo actually doesn't have the worst matchup. So, we're just going to get into the battles. That's the end of the first battle, and we lead Honchkrow into Mewtwo. Now, this is a very good lead, as they have to farm up to a Focus Blast to do any meaningful damage, and they say switch Dialga Origin. Now, honestly, I kind of had considered running Machamp, just because I'd seen a bunch of Dialga safe switches, but I decided Melmetal was still better. Now, the opponent shields, and... So it looks like they're probably selling out for Switch. They actually bait too, which is perfect because I still wasn't shielding anyways, so now they just waste energy. They then double shield, so they really want Switch. And now, I should be able to just farm up to two superpowers. The opponent makes a very nice catch. Like, that, that was a very good catch. But now, they should just be in Dark Pulse range, and I'm able to snipe. And now, they lose like seven Psycho Cuts worth of energy, as the Dark Pulse does just take them out. Now, they are going to send back in the Dialga, but this Dark Pulse will do some nice damage and will get them into range for a single superpower, so they have to throw a move. I decided to shield here, though, because I want to see what they might have in the back. So, like, if they have, like, a Groudon or something, they still have to throw a Fire Punch. Now, I go for the Dark Pulse, takes them out, and in the back, it's Zekrom. And honestly, shielding probably wasn't the best idea there. Now, I am able to catch the Fusion Bolt, and the opponent fully undercharges it. Now, I'm going to be going for a Rock Slide, and then should be 4 or 5 off next Superpower, and I am 4 off. They undercharged a bit too much there, and now I'm able to make it to a Superpower. Superpower takes them out, and we take that game. We see Solgaleo on the lead in the next battle. Now, Solgaleo is um, actually not, not as good of a matchup as Mewtwo is, because Solgaleo has Fire Spin, which is neutral. But they still have to farm to an Iron Head to do any meaningful charge, charge move damage, so it's fine. Now, I will just be able to send in Melmetal in response to their Gyarados safe switch. And Melmetal just kind of beats Gyarados. Even if they're on Waterfall, it still is a very one-sided matchup. As now, even if they make it to a Crunch or an Aqua Tail, it's not going to take me out. Aqua Tail does some okay damage, and it nearly takes me out. But now, when they send in Solgaleo, I'm able to go for a superpower. It's just some nice damage, probably gets him into range for a Dark Pulse, and it just debuffs me, making sure that only one Fire Spin goes through. Now they shield again, and now they're going to have to go for a move here. If it's an Iron Hand, I get taken out, so I'm going to just shield just to be safe. The opponent then sends in Dragonite, and I immediately send in Togekiss. And the opponent, it looks like they're still fighting here, but this matchup is kind of over, because they have nothing that can take out Togekiss with one hit, so I can just save my shield. Honchkrow has a move, and because of that, now... I'll just be able to go for an Aura Sphere, and honestly, they have to throw another move to take me out. And at this point, I really don't care. I'm just going to let it go. If they're actually able to take me out, we'll let Honchkrow do the job. So now, I'm going to go for Psychic Fangs. Psychic Fangs takes me out, but we have a Brave Bird loaded. And this Brave Bird will take him out. They're on like 1 HP. And we get the KO. You see Zacian on the, the next battle. Now, Zacian is an odd matchup because since they're running Snarl, they have to go for a play rough or a wild charge to do any meaningful damage, although close combat probably still one-shots this thing, let's be real here. But they actually do go for the play rough. Now, I can go for a Brave Bird, and despite being 3,000 combat power, basically, Brave Bird still hits for heavy damage. Now, I am going to be able to go for a Dark Pulse. It looks like my, my opponent might have lagged there, which is unfortunate, but it works in my favor. I... And, I mean, I've lost a lag a couple of times, so I guess this is just the game repaying me. Now, I'm able to snipe with Togekiss, and now the opponent sends in Ho-Oh. Now, ho -Oh does have access to Sacred Fire and Incinerate, but it is double weak to Rock, so that Ancient Power will grab a shield. Now, Sacred Fire will completely take out my Togekiss, but since I would have made it to an Ancient Power, they are forced to throw. Now, I can send in Honkrow and go for a Brave Bird. Now, this Brave Bird will do some very nice damage, and they can't farm me down, as I will make it to another move, or I think it comes down to new mechanic. But, so they throw out the Brave Bird, and I send in Melmetal, and I get the farm down. I'm going to have to take one Incinerate, 
but it's Xerneas in the back. And that's really not good. It's also kind of strange that they're running ABA Fairy, but, I mean, sometimes random team comps just get the wins because opponents aren't expecting them. Now, I throw on CMP here because I lose CMP, so now I can go for a Rock Slide, but doesn't take them out, and they have the back-to-back. -back. So despite me trying to throw on CMP, I still lose that game. We see Kyogre on the lead in the next battle. Now, Kyogre, the Waterfalls are just going to hit for so much damage. And at this point, I am just going to go Brave Bird and Dip. Honestly, I should have waited to make sure that the that the Waterfall damage registered before I uh, went for the Brave Bird, just to make sure it didn't deal extra damage after I debuffed my defense. But whatever. Now, the opponent sends in Dialga, and I mean, I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide here. I love baiting against um, Dialgas, because they almost always shield. This opponent actually doesn't shield. And now, I kind of want to sell out for Switch. The opponent actually does throw the Draco Meteor. So that would have taken me out, and now I can go for another Rock Slide. The opponent once again calls it. So now I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, they can, they can never shield the nuke if you just never throw it. So I go for Rock Slide, and now I finally go for the Superpower, because one Rock Slide would not take him out here. So I do get to the knockout, but I am down a shield now. Thankfully, I either get that shield back or I get the KO, and... The opponent lets it go through. They have a Togekiss of their own in the back, and this game's over. Unless I get an Ancient Power boost, I just win, as I can just shield this Ancient Power. Now, I can just evenly farm down. So, as you can see, we get the simultaneous KO, and they lose two shields. We see Metagross on the lead in the next battle. Now, this is a pretty good lead, except for the fact that Bullet Punch does quite a bit of damage. The opponent then sends in a... I think that's a level 50 Bax Caliber, and I mean just respect for that, honestly. But unfortunately, Melmetal kind of shuts it down. Now, I am going to just no-shield the Avalanche. Avalanche isn't going to do much, and I am just going to overfarm. Now, they throw here. This is not enough for an Avalanche, and even if it was, it still wouldn't take me out, and I could probably force both shields if my opponent wanted to fight for Switch. Now, I can just go for a Rock Slide. Rock Slide will take him out. Now, the opponent sends back in the Metagross. Now, unfortunately, they're probably going to get a very nice farm down here, but I can throw a superpower. Superpower will debuff my defense. Second superpower also will debuff my defense, which is fine. Now, they get less farm. Now, unfortunately, I really don't have a good way of getting rid of this Metagross, besides the Snarl damage, so I am going to basically just have to double shield and hope that I can farm down. Now, I am going to shield the first one. Now, as you can see, we still lose CMP, just because this thing's not really meant to be strong, but... We can still go for the Dark Pulse. This should at least grab one shield for our troubles. The opponent actually does let it go, but they have Dragonite in the back. And I felt really bad for that opponent there as they... That was just not very fortunate for them. We see Landorus in the next battle. Now, I really get really annoyed by Landorus. I just don't like seeing it. The opponent does bait. They love baiting. Now, I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse. The opponent makes a very nice catch on a Dragonite. But the thing is, we just have Togekiss to wall it. Now, this is one reason I like running Togekiss, but at the same time, I still don't really like running Charmers. Like, even in the Master League, it's just, it doesn't feel, it's not fun when, the, when you just tap, tap, tap through a Dragon-type. But, what I don't really have anything else I can run in its place, like I don't have a Xerneas or a Zacian, and I do need a Ferret-type on my team. So, this is basically my choice. Now, the opponent doesn't bait there, so I guess they learned their lesson. But now, I can sit in Honkrow, and Honkrow can go for the Dark Pulse, and now, that will grab the shield. Now I'm going to be shielding here, because even if they do go for a Sansir Storm, it still get me pretty low. Now, fortunately, they're basically in a range where Dark Pulse should still take them out, even if it's debuffed. Now, I am going to not throw on Charge Attack Priority, as I will lose that and just not get a free Snarl. The opponent then sends in Dialga, but shields down, I have no need to bait, so I can just farm up. Now, I'm going to make a very, very high-level play here. I throw the Super Power. And now, I wait to make sure they throw the Draco. As now, this won't take me out, but it'll do heavy damage. And I'm going to let them farm. And now, I get... They get, like, virtually no farm on the Landorus, so they don't leave with a move. Because of that, I can just go for the Brave Bird without worrying about losing Charge Attack Priority. Brave Bird takes him out, and we are able to take that game. We lead into Togekiss in the next battle, and that's just not good. I have to send in my own Togekiss. And if my opponent switches out here, I can probably just lose, as I'm just not going to be able to really keep switch advantage. I don't think safe switching in Charmer is ever a good idea. Now I go for the Ancient Power. The opponent shields, 
and I get a boost. Now, I'm going to be shielding, and my opponent doesn't get the boost, so now I just have a boost. I mean, I have a massive advantage. Now, I said in Groudon, but these charms are actually hitting for some pretty nice damage. Fire Punch, because I get a boost, does not take me out. And honestly, I'm going to farm up to an Aura Sphere. I don't care if it's a shield. I should be able to grab that shield right back. Now, I go for another Ancient Power. It looks like a strange play because it's resisted, but I knew they were shielding. If I got a boost, I could do a bit more charm damage to have a bit a bit easier farm down with Honchkrow. Now, Honchkrow is going to be able to go and hopefully go for a full farm down. The opponent throws a Fire Punch, and they send in Togekiss. Now, honestly, I panicked through. I did not realize that I could have switched out, and I tank a, a bunch of damage from the charms. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't say tank because that thing did not tank it well, but... Regardless, I send in Melmetal, get a farm down, take out the Groudon, and in the back it's Zekrom. So now this game still looks winnable, but Fusion Bolt hits for heavy damage, so I'm going to need to catch. And during this battle, I honestly just lost count with the Dragon Breaths. So basically, I'm just going to have to I'm just going to have to try and catch when I feel like it's the right time. Now because I'm going to be switching out afterwards, I'm going to throw a Superpower as it does more damage. Now I send in Honchkrow, and we get the catch. Because I'm so low and Honchkrow is so glassy, the um, Crunch, even if I fully undercharged it, I think still KOs. And we go for Superpower, taking out the Zekrom, and we take that game. See Lugia on the lead in the next battle. Now, this looks like a good matchup on paper, but the stat product difference is just insane, and it just kind of is going to give Honchkrow a disadvantage. That Dark Pulse doesn't even do half. Now, the opponent loses CMP. Like, I, I just think that's hilarious, and they have to commit a shield now, despite having a 1,000 combat power advantage. Now, I'm just going to let Honchkrow go. Getting a shield advantage is probably the best it can do. Now, I'm going to throw a Rock Slide. Now, the opponent, um, they should probably just let this go, but they actually shield. I don't know why. And they send in a Palkia Origin. Now, Togekiss kind of shuts down Palkia. Especially up two shields, but I don't even have to use the shields here. I can just go for full farm down, and despite having to tank two Aqua Tails, I actually do decide to shield, because I do want to have enough HP to, like, prevent, like, whatever they have in the back from getting full farm down. They send in Lugia, and I decided to just shield and try and go for a full farm down, but I miscalculated their energy, and now I will have to eat a Sky Attack. Sky Attack won't take me out, though. The opponent then sends in ho -Oh. Now, this in um, Incinerate probably does take me out, but that Ancient Power does get him low enough, and I have a Rock Slide banked. So, well, it does look pretty dicey right there. That Rock Slide will save me the game, as this Lugia has nothing. And we are able to take that game. See Groudon on the lead again. And now we've seen this is a pretty good matchup. And then the opponent sends in Tyranitar. Now, I send in Melodon, and I'm just going straight Rock Slide. Like, I'm, I'm not in the mood to throw a superpower and debuff myself. The opponent actually shields. So now, this is even better. As Brutal Swing, not going to do much. However, I do fear the day that I run into the some mad lad running Tyranitar with Fire Blast, because it does learn that. I live in constant fear of that. They then double shield. I really don't understand that play, as they still probably weren't taking Switch anyways. But now, I'm able to just take them out with Superpower. Now, they're going to be able to go for a Fire Punch, taking out my um, Melmetal, but I have Honchkrow with two shields. It's pretty hard to lose here. Now, the opponent will be able to throw a Fire Punch. I'm going to shield just because Honchkrow is glassy. And now, I should be able to overfarm by a lot. If I was afraid that a Dark Pulse wouldn't have taken them out if I had thrown it there, so I want a bit of extra Snarl damage. Now, the Dark Pulse does take them out. Or, sorry, it comes very close. It doesn't actually. And then in the back, they have Dragonite. So we can just go for a Brave Bird. Brave Bird going to hit for a, a ton of damage. And we have Togekiss to shut down the Dragonite. Sorry, we see another Groudon here in the next battle. And now this is, we just saw, not the not the worst lead, but two Fire Punches does take us out. So unfortunately, it's not actually a good lead as we get outpaced. Now I go for a Dark Pulse. Now I do have to shield if I want to get my damage off. So this is, it's really annoying to see a Flying type lose to a Ground type, but what can you do? Now I'm going to be able to go for a Dark Pulse. This Dark Pulse does grab a shield. And now at this point... I'm just going to let it go through, as I want to get extra farm on Togekiss. Now, the opponent, despite being able to go for a Fire Punch, it's non-stab, it's not the worst, it's, sorry, it's not the best move, so it's not going to be doing too much. 
They don't make it to another one, which is great. Now, they send in their own Togekiss. I'm going to be able to go for an Ancient Power. This probably will grab the shield. Now I'm going to send in my Melmetal. Now, the opponent then has Dragonite in the back, and... Yeah, unfortunately for them, this game is just kind of over. As Melmetal with the Rock Slide is just going to hit them for super effective. And I can go for another Rock Slide. Now, this Rock Slide does take them out, and Togekiss has nothing, and the, the opponent concedes the match. See another Soul Glow Ale in the next battle. Now, I'm going to be able to go for a Dark Pulse, and I think Honchkrow might win CMP. It depends on, I think it depends if the Soul Glow, if the Soul Glow Ale is underleveled or not. But now, the opponent is going to farm up, I think that was 9. Now, they're going to go for a move. It's obviously the Psychic Fangs bait, and that that was CMP. I go for the Dark Pulse, and I get the shield, and yeah, that was CMP. I just think that's really funny that this thing wins CMP. Now, I will be able to go for a Dark Pulse. I wait a turn there to make sure my opponent doesn't catch. I've evidently learned my lesson. Dark Pulse does take him out, and the opponent then sends in Mewtwo. So this, all of a sudden, still does not look good. As Shadow Mewtwo up energy with no shields, the thing is a terrifying closer. I'm not even going to be able to make it to two Rock Slides here. So I can go for this first Rock Slide, but they'll make it to a Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball will take out Melmetal. And now it's just up to Togekiss. It's no longer up to Togekiss. They have Metagross. We do not win. It's another Mewtwo lead in the next battle. This is a very good lead, and I'm going to just go straight Dark Pulse. This will hit for a lot of damage, and the opponent does shield it. Now, the opponent, I think they farmed up to a Focus Blast here, so I'm going to shield, and it actually is. So I'm very glad I shielded there. The opponent tries to catch a move onto Dialg Origin, but we have Melmetal. Now, the play, the plan here is to farm up and... Now, I actually go for another Rock Slide. We've seen I love throwing Rock Slides into the Algos. The opponent does bait again. Now, I will be able to just go for the back-to-back -back superpowers now as the shields are down. I missed the excellent on that, but it doesn't matter as this one still should take him out. Superpower gets the KO. The opponent then sends in Ho. I don't even make a Rock Slide there. That's not good. But now I have to send in Honchkrow because... Togekiss is not going to like to see Ho. -Oh. So now I'm going to go for one more Snarl, and I'm going to go for the Brave Bird. I'm hoping Dark Pulse plus Brave Bird takes him out, and it does. And now the Mewtwo, just not going to be able to do much. Now, I am debuff. This Psy Strike will take me out despite me being a Dark type. But thankfully, that shield comes in clutch. We get the, we get the shield on the Psy Strike, and we get a, a move off. We get the Dark Pulse off, and we take him out, and we take that game. Overall, while Honchkrow is very fun to run in the Master League, it's just not something I can recommend. Like, it might be fun in Master League Premier, but besides that, it's just it's just glassy and it's not good. Like, if I'm being honest, I think Shadow Staraptor, or even the regular, was better, just because it had a... Th Honestly, I think it had a bit more bulk to it, which is kind of sad considering it's Staraptor. But it had more bulk to it, and I think it hit harder as well. So, honestly, I think Staraptor is just a better pick here. Now, Honchkrow, well, it is fun. It's just, this thing's probably going to be a raid attacker from now on. So, it might come back one day, but it's just not, not something I can really recommend. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.